Today at our 2016 Chrysler Town & Country, we're going to do a test fit of the NO fork lot number three by carrier. Part number is INA391. Now we have a bike on our carrier and we have our carrier hooked to our vehicle. I'm just going to show you a few features. Now this is a fork mounted bike rack, as you can see, the uh, skewer is engaged. I'm going to come right to the back. We have our wheel sitting in the wheel cradle here. We're going to have a strap just pretty much holding it down and protecting our spokes. So we're going to go ahead and move, remove that. I'm going to get up here and disengage our skewer here. Lift our cover up. Hold on to our bike. Disengage the skewer. And we can loosen it over here. Now we can take off our bike. All right. Set this off to the side. Now, if you have any straps on your bike rack, we're going to go ahead and replace it so we don't lose it or damage it. Like so. Since we're here, just to show you that this actually moves up and down the frame. So if you have a bigger bike or a smaller bike, you can move to adjust it. And the frame itself, the where we put our wheel at, the carrier can fit pretty much any size tire up to your mountain bikes. Now here we have our universal holder on our crossbar. We have two thumb screws, a nice plate with a coating on it so it won't scratch our vehicle or our crossbars. Up here, we have to disengage our cam lever here. And I can bring it on the other side. I'll show you where there is a square washer that we actually go under. And it fits into the little slot. Then we just tighten it up as much as we can and lock it down to engage it. Now it also has a lock, so if you want to leave your bike on your vehicle at all, at all night, you surely can for the security reasons. So, that's gonna complete our look at the NO fork lock number three bike carrier. And that part number again is INA391 on today's 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. Here it is on our test course. First is the slalom area, which simulates side-to-side -side action, like turning the corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternate speed bumps, which show you the twisting action, like hitting a pothole, road debris, or hitting a curb. Finally, we are at the solid speed bumps, which show you up and down, action to simulate a parking garage or coming out your driveway.